You ready? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Are You This? The coolest, the realest, the trillest young king on the YouTube platform as we speak. Welcome back to the channel. If you have not yet, go ahead and like up the video. Alright, we gotta at least get five likes in this video, okay? That's the test. Five likes in this video. And we need to get at least three subscribers out of this video, alright? If three people watch this video that ain't subscribed, y'all three need to run me my subscribe, alright? Let's make a deal. At the end of this reaction, if my reaction wasn't complete trash, go ahead and run me my subscribe. That's the deal, alright? If you ain't fucking with me, cool. Go ahead, dip off. But if you fucking with me, you, you know, we got a little vibe going on, go ahead and run me my subscribe and everything will be alright, alright? So today what we got on the menu is we got dumbest rappers who went broke. Now, um, I know a few, I don't know them all, but I know Bow Wow is one as you can see, and um, we'll see who the rest is. So I, I don't think it's any particular order, or I don't know if it's going to say 10, 15, whatever the case may be, but we'll see who's all broke now. Let go. Sorry, gotta turn the screen record on. I always wait to the last minute to do that, I probably need to stop doing that. Alright, we good? Alright, let's go. Here are rappers who have gone broke. Wait until you hear what exactly Birdman decided to steal back from his mansion. <laughs> he stole some from his own house? What kind of stuff is that? Number 10, Bow oh, Wow. 10. Is it surprising to anyone that Bow Wow is on this list? He's Considering not even broke. He started broke. releasing music when he was 13. You'd think he'd have a decent amount of cash saved up over the years. But as we've said many times on this channel, what's important is to keep what you earn. During a child custody case where he was ordering $1,000 a month in child support, Bow Wow informed the court he made just $4,000 a month and only had $1,500 in his bank account. He also nah. nearly leased a relatively modest car. That might be because four years earlier, he had leased a Ferrari F430 and within months was behind on payments. However, the day after the hearing, he, might he told the court that he broke, he did sign on to be one of the new co-hosts of the now-canceled BET show 106 in Park. A long time Later ago. on, he even gave a statement saying that he's a smart guy and until you see him on a corner begging for money, he's not broke. Well, I guess that's one way of admitting lying to a judge in court. The funniest thing with Bow Wow probably still has got to be back in 2017. He posted a picture of a private jet on his Instagram with a caption that heavily implied Bow that it was Wow's his guy. private jet that he chartered to New York. But the photo was actually a photo from a website, and someone saw him flying in economy that same day and posted the picture to Twitter. In an interesting twist, he recently <coughs> called money evil and claimed he would give his money away to fans. It doesn't take a genius to figure out why Bow Wow's career fizzled out. Number 9. Stupid. Scott Storch Okay, we know that Scott Storch is not a rapper, but he was a producer for many artists Huge. such as Justin Timberlake, Beyonce, and Dr. Dre. And the way he blew through his $70 million fortune is incredible. In 2006, he had his $70 million. By 2009, he filed for bankruptcy claiming just $3,600 in assets. Storch's lavish lifestyle included a garage with 13 cars, including a $600,000 Mercedes SLR McLaren, a $500,000 Mercedes Maybach, and a $1.7 million black Bugatti Veyron. He also <clears throat> bought a $20 million yacht, a $10 million mansion, and a $3 million 34 karat diamond pinky ring. Apparently in 2006, <laughs> he started making friends in Hollywood, and with those friends came the partying. He basically withdrew from making music and focused on partying with his friends at his mansion. In his estimation, at one point, he blew through $30 million in a six-month span. Wow. However, the good news is today, Scott Storch is back in the studio and he's back on his feet making music. Number 8. DMX in 2016, DMX uh, filed for bankruptcy for not the first, or for the second, but for the third time since 2009. He owed creditors over $2 million and filed for Chapter 13 bankruptcy as an attempt to save his New York home. This is a guy who's had five number one albums. So how did he get so broke? Well, he has 15 kids with nine different women. That's definitely a big part to why he's had financial issues, despite being probably the hottest rapper in the late 90s. And then there's all the crazy legal issues he's had for all the crazy things he's done. 
the craziest story has to be when he pretended that he was a federal agent and tried to carjack someone. DMX filed for bankruptcy first in 2009 and again in 2013. In 2016, DMX filed for bankruptcy again. He claimed that he had no assets at all except for his house. And he had absolutely no money in his bank account. He also claimed that he doesn't own stakes in copyrights or trademarks for any of his music. Finally, in 2018, the IRS came for the $2.29 million he owed them. He ended up spending a year in jail for tax evasion. Number seven, Damn, Fat son. Joe. Did you guys know that Fat Joe has released 10 <clears throat> albums? No What's idea. more surprising, he has 10 albums or that he's on this list? His first run with the tax man was back in 2010. He only owed around $105,000 to the state of New Jersey and he was able to pay it back. <clears throat> but by 2012, things had gotten a lot worse. Despite earning over $3 million in 2007 and 2008, Fat Joe decided not to pay the more than $700,000 he owed in taxes. He had faced the possibility of two years in prison, but before he was sentenced, he had paid off some of the bill and also did a lot of charity work. The judge took all this into account, so he only gave four months to Fat Joe, but he only served three months back in 2013. You would have thought he learned his lesson, but in 2016, he found himself owing taxes again. This time he owed $1.1 million. In a 2019 interview, Joe said he finally learned from his mistakes. He basically advised young rappers to not waste millions on jewelry and private planes. Number six, Exhibit. Do you guys remember Exhibit from <clears throat> Pimp My Ride? People will probably now remember him better for being the host of Pimp My Ride more than his rap career. Exhibit actually had one platinum and two <clears throat> gold albums. Back in 2009, he owed almost a million dollars to the IRS. Somehow, he blamed his financial problems on the fact that Pimp My Ride got canceled. Okay, let's be real here. The real problem for him was spending more money than he made. In 2007, he earned almost half a million from the show. But after the show was canceled in 2007, his income plummeted to only around $67,500 in 2008. Of course, he couldn't pull back on his lifestyle. By 2009, his 7,650 square foot mansion was facing foreclosure. He also didn't even own a car. He had a lease on a Range Rover that cost around $22,000 a month. By 2010, he found himself $1.4 million in debt. Come on, everybody knew that Pimp My Ride couldn't last forever. All this sounds like the reason why athletes go broke. Find out the real reasons athletes go broke by clicking here. Number five, Nas. Nas has had a long and successful career, but as good of a rapper as he is, it doesn't mean he's great in finance. In 2009, his ex-wife Kellis filed for divorce. His terrible financial situation came to light while settling on the child support amount. Nas claimed he owed his manager $700,000 and the IRS millions, but he was still required to pay over $50,000 a month in child support. Kellis wasn't the only ex not getting paid either. The mother of Nas's first daughter took him to court in 2014 for owing back child support. But the worst was probably when he owed the IRS almost $6.5 million in 2011. The government started to garnish his wages because of that massive debt. And that's probably the reason why in 2012, Nas lost his Georgia home. He failed to make the mortgage payments and the bank sold his house at auction. Number wow. four, Young Buck. Nas? Musicians, unlike most yeah, people, don't get sense. regular paychecks with taxes withheld. They get their money with no taxes taken out. That can be a gift or a curse depending on who it is. And this is why entertainers in general get in trouble with the IRS. And rapper Young Buck owed the IRS hundreds of thousands of dollars in back taxes. His problem was even worse because when he got into money trouble, his rap career was basically over. In 2012, IRS agents raided his house and took basically everything of value from his house. That included his even leather the dining chairs, his watches, his tattoo kit, and even his refrigerator with the food in it. Truth be told, the tax issue is probably not completely Young Buck's fault. There supposedly was some miscommunication between his lawyer and business manager about who was supposed to pay the taxes. The IRS did have a heart and loaned back Young Buck his refrigerator along with a few other things. But taxes weren't his only financial problems. 22 creditors submitted claims totaling $11.5 million. He ended up having to file for bankruptcy. Number three, Birdman. 
And now we get to Birdman, co-founder of Cash Money Records. Birdman is one of those people who has a heavy spending habit, but he has an ability to quickly make more money and pay it back. He's had various money issues over the years, and his latest legal issue involves this huge multi-million dollar Miami mansion. Basically, he took out a $12 million loan for it, and he's having trouble making payments. He went into default back in 2017, and he was ordered to immediately give up his place in January of 2018. But that wasn't the only property he had to give up. He also had to give up his North Miami office space, which is where his recording studio is located. As of November 2019, the foreclosure is still ongoing. All of his stuff in the house was confiscated and put into storage once the bank reclaimed the house. However, that didn't mean anything to Birdman. Out of all the things he could have taken back from the house, he was accused of stealing back four collector Gucci bikes manufactured by Gucci. Bank officials asked the judge for help in getting the bikes back. Number two, <laughs> Little bikes, Kim. Bro. Before Nicki Minaj and Cardi, there was Little Kim. She was the Jeez. first female rap superstar. She's been on songs with legendary yeah, yeah. rappers such as Biggie and Jay-Z. And when she rapped on Diddy's song, It's All About the Benjamins, she wasn't lying. Nay, nay. She loved spending it. Hey. Unfortunately hey. for her, her career has fallen off and her bank account as well. In 2018, she filed for bankruptcy. Besides Sorry, being over $650,000 behind on her house, she owed the IRS more than a million in back taxes. She claimed that she owed $4 million overall in 2018. She claimed that she was making about 18000 a month, but she said that she had to budget $2,000 for her staff, another $2,000 for her wardrobe, and $10,000 for travel. Are those actually necessary expenses? What do you think? How are you going to pay your Number one, Hammer. Pretty much everyone knows that Hammer went broke, but he's still one of the prime examples of rappers going broke. Hammer's album, Please Hammer, Don't Hurt Him, which came out in 1990, is still the best-selling hip-hop album of all time with over 18 million copies sold. Forbes estimated Hammer's net worth back then to be around $33 million. But six years later, he filed for bankruptcy in one of the most famous celebrity financial disasters of all time. First, there was the $30 million mansion. Then there was possibly the most epic entourage ever. Hammer employed 200 people on his payroll, which cost him around $500,000 every month. However, he told Oprah that it even got to, quote, a million dollars a month at times. When he filed for bankruptcy, he said he had several hundred creditors. 2011, he told Oprah that even if he could, he wouldn't go back and change anything. He believes in the butterfly effect and that if things had been different, he wouldn't have his kids or the peace he has now. Watch this next video to find out about the real reasons why athletes go broke. Bruh, they so wrong for making MC Hammer like the face of rappers going broke. <laughs> Crazy shit. Anyway, like I said, I gotta be quiet because she's at work right now on a phone call. But this is the end of the video. I hope you can hear me, okay? Run me my subscribe. I know I'm not fast. Even if I act fast. Oh, no, run me my subscribe. You understand me? I need, I need three subscribes after this video. Click off the video. Click subscribe. Hit that notification bell and go about your day. That's it. That's all I need from you. And we'll be straight. We'll be even. All right? Is that cool? Yeah. Why my daddy hit subscribe before I kick your butt? Pow, pow. <laughs> my son ain't going to touch y'all, but I will. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> I'll let y'all later.